Welcome to this Qigong routine for social anxiety. Let's start with some knocking on the chest. Light fists knock up and down on your sternum. We're going to take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold the breath and let that out with a sigh through the mouth. We'll do a few of those. Keep knocking on the chest, breathing deep in through the nose again. Hold the breath and let it go with a sigh. Again, inhale, little breath hold, and big sigh. Ah, just release anxiety from the heart. Brush it off here. And we're going to slap down the inside of one arm and up the outside. In Qigong, we use slapping and knocking and brushing motions to disperse stuck energy. Think of energy really as being in the body, emotion as being in the body, and that we can use physical patterns of the body to uh, refigure those energy patterns. So here, going down the inside of the other arm and up the outside, feel free to, free to use a light fist or an open palm. Just break up any stagnant chi. That stagnant chi might even just show up as muscular tension. Often that tension relates to our emotional patterns. We get tense in the muscles. Come back to the chest again, a deep breath in. And a big sigh, clear the heart. Ah, brushing it off. Okay, now lift one arm, slap from the armpit. Down the side waist. Down the armpit to the side waist, to the hip. Going from top to bottom. Here we're clearing along some acupuncture channels. These channels move through the soft tissues of the body. You can think of them like the harp strings that the vibration of emotion and energy move through. Come to the lower back, tap up and down along those low back muscles next to the spine. <clears throat> and then we're going to slap with open palms down the back of the legs and up the inside of the legs. So we're following the flow of those energy lines down the back of the legs, up the inside. Qigong was developed in the context of Chinese medicine, so we use the same energy lines as acupuncture, acupressure, shiatsu. Come back to the hips, use your fist to knock at the hip crease, come around the back of the hips, Sides, front, sides, back. It's a place we carry a lot of tension. Just break that up here. Good. Release. Notice how your body feels. You might feel a little lighter, looser, or even a little vibration. Next, we're going to do some chi brushing. Start at the outside of the wrists. Come up to the shoulders. Over the head, the hands cross around the back of the head, back of the neck, side waist, back of the legs, tops of the feet. Make fists. Come onto your tiptoes, stand up tall, and then stomp the heels and throw the hands down. Next, we'll start at the inside of the ankles, brushing up the inside of the legs, front of the hips, cross at the belly, up the waist of the armpit, up the inside of the arms. Make fists again. Come onto the tiptoes and drop and throw. The brushing technique. We're going to come back to the arms, outside of the arms, top of the head, back of the neck, side waist, back of the legs, tops of the feet, come up and drop. Imagine like we're pulling leaves out of gutters here. So it's called dredging the channels. Again, from inside of the ankles up through the inside of the arms, toss away the leaves. You can do this with breath too. Take an inhale as you brush and a big sigh as you drop. <sighs> Again, inhale, brush. Nice, long, gentle inhale. And exhale. <sighs> so you release. And then let's just repeat that last motion with a quick breath. So we lift the heels, inhale, exhale, stomp the heels, and flick the hands. <sighs> Again, feel the vibration through the bones from the flick, from the exhale, all helping to release any stagnant energy, any anxiety, 
Anything stuck in the body or mind? Let's release, come back to the center. Notice how your body feels again. You might notice a sense of vibration. From here, we're going to shake another great exercise to release tension and stuck energy. Just feel all the power and effort come from your feet and lower legs. Allow the rest of your body to relax. Sometimes here I like to imagine my bones like they're suspended in jello. Your body is literally largely made of gelatin. You can give that a little rock side to side. Just keep loosening up. And maybe with a gentle twist. Let out some sighing breaths here. And then a little front to back. Be careful on the way back. Don't let your head fall too far. You don't want any sense of pinching in the spine. Again, breathing in your nose, long breaths in, long breath out the mouth. Come back to the center, pause and again, notice how you feel. Should feel with each of these exercises a little lighter, a little more open, a little more vibration in the body. Next, we're going to find our basic stance here. Feet about shoulder width, toes pointing forward, palms a little wider than the shoulders, palms face down to the earth, about hip height. We call this the Wuji posture, meaning it's our neutral point. Wuji meaning neutral or emptiness. And from this neutral point, we'll find our movements. Just find your breath here. We're going to start to move by lifting the hands up to the chest, flipping the palms, and pressing back down towards the pelvis. We'll do this with breath, slow breath in the nose as we lift up. And here, breathing out the nose as well, on the way down. So from this point in our practice, Essentially, all our breathing will be through the nose, both in and out. And our aim is to find that breath as long and slow as possible. This sends a message to the nervous system to calm down. Our next exercise, you're going to step back with your left foot, mirroring me. You're going to shift forward. And as you shift back, the hands are going to circle around. Come into your waist. Shift back forward into your right foot. Circle around, shifting the weight back to the left. Your hands are making the shape of a kidney bean as they trace through the air. This one is called the monk grinding rice or sometimes grinding tofu. It's as though you're using a big grinding stone. And we're going to exhale as we shift forward in this one. Those hands reach forward, we're exhaling. And we'll inhale as we shift back, and those hands draw that big wide circle out. So again, exhale as the hands come around the waist and we shift forward. And inhale as the hands come around in a big arc and we shift back. All breath through the nose. And the purpose of this exercise is, besides slowing the breath and providing a slow movement to pay attention to with mindful awareness, the purpose is to help us feel grounded. So those palms face towards the earth are directing our attention into the earth as well. Let's step up with that left foot and back with the right. We'll do the same exercise on the other side. Shifting forward into the left foot, shifting back into the right. Hands come in close to the waist, circling around your waist as we shift back forward into the left foot. 
hands painting a wide arc as we shift back into the right foot. Exhaling as we shift forward. Inhaling as we shift back. And just bring that mindful awareness into the flow. Really bring your mind into your body. Feel the movement. Feel your feet. Your legs, your hips. Your core. Your spine. Your arms and hands. And even feel the earth below you, as though we're touching the earth, touching the solid, stable nature of the earth. Like we're bringing that nature into our own body, mind, and emotions. Reflecting the chi of the earth in our own inner chi. And slowly step back up about shoulder width. We we'll return to our first mindful movement exercise here. Inhaling hands up, exhaling down. Still going slow and steady. This exercise helping calm the heart. We imagine in Qigong that the energy of the abdominal area is like water. The energy of the heart is like fire. So it's as though we bring up some mist from the water to calm the fire of the heart, to calm that flickering anxiety, make that flame more steady. Our next exercise, we're going to cross the wrists, drop to the chest, part the hands, and then press down. We inhale as we draw up with cross wrists, separate, and then exhale as we press down. This one is activating a point from acupuncture or acupressure. The point is about three finger widths up from the crease of the wrist. So it's about where most people would wear their watch. As we cross these points, known as the inner and outer gates of the wrist, one on the inside of the wrist, one on the outside or the back of the wrist, it activates the energy at the furthest reaches of the body, so basically your aura, this protective energy field around you that helps you feel insulated from the energies in your, your environment or the energies of other people. This point works best when we already have some chi to work with in the body, and then this exercise and pressure point can help to direct that chi to the frontier, the frontiers of our energy, to defend the kingdom, so to speak, the kingdom of the heart. So, in essence, this is to make you a little more thick skinned. Low breathing through the nose. As much as we want all this cool energy stuff to happen, that primarily the function we have control of in Qigong is our breathing and our mindful awareness. So don't try to force any anything special or magic. Just pay attention to the body and the breath. Let everything else follow. Come back to our Wuji position. Feel the crown suspended to the sky, the tailbone sunk to the earth. Notice your breath, just breathing naturally in this position. And we'll do three Tai Chi openings. Inhale, lifting the hands up by the wrist. Exhale, lowering down. So the elbow gets heavy. Inhale slowly like a string, lifts the arms up by the wrist. 
Exhale like a weight hangs from the elbow. And all these flows, I try to set a good pace here, but you don't want to feel like you're about to pass out. So if the breathing is too slow for you or anything like that, feel free to go your own pace. Next, we're going to open the arms about chest height. And then bring the left fingertips to point to the right funny bone, the inside of the right elbow. And we're going to open with an inhale. And exhale, point the right fingers, the middle finger in particular, to the funny bone or the inside of the left elbow. Inhale as we open. Here we're working with another pressure point just above the funny bone on a meridian or acupuncture line called the heart protector. That again helps to generate this protective energy around us, in this case more specifically around the heart itself. On this next one we're going to pause after Connecting this point, we're going to turn to our right, drop the right hand back in a big circling motion, and then touch the right and left palms together and press forward from the heart. Then you're going to pull back to the shoulders and press forward with the hands separate. This is the motion from Tai Chi called Grasping the Bird's Tail. We'll open again. Point left fingers to the right funny bone, that heart protector point. Turn to our left, circling behind with the left hand. Press left and right palms together, and then press forward from the chest. The back of the right hand is going forward like it's against somebody's chest. Then you pull back, press forward. Keep alternating sides. This time we'll try with breath here, inhaling as we open. Exhale, right fingers point to the left funny bone. Inhale as we circle back to the right. Touch the palms and exhale, press forward with the left, back of the left hand going forward. Inhale, pull back. And exhale, push forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, left fingers to the right funny bone. Inhale, turn to the left, circle back. Touch the palms together. Exhale, press forward with the back of the right hand going forward. I'm still kind of mirroring you here, even though it's from this angle. Inhale back. Exhale, press forward. Inhale, open the chest. Open the heart. Exhale, close, protect. Right fingers to the left, funny bone. Inhale, circle back to the right. Touch the palms, exhale, press forward. Back of the left hand going forward. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, press forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, left finger, do right funny bone. Inhale, circle back left. Exhale, press. Inhale, pull back. And exhale, press. That's our last one here. Pull back to the chest and press down to the lower abdomen. Again, drawing up to the heart, steam rising. Exhale, cooling and calming the 
fire of the heart. Inhale, mist rising. Exhale, calming the heart. Back to Uji. Standing meditation. Watch your breath. Just natural now. I'm going to bring both palms face up under the lower abdomen, under the lower dantian. Drop your breath and attention into the lower abdomen, into the space between your navel and your pelvis. Feel grounded and anchored here. slowly circle out to the side with the left hand, come by the forehead, slowly like a prayer to send that hand down underneath the dantian, and the right hand goes out with an inhale, and exhale down the center line, and back under that deep anchor point. Inhale as we circle out. And exhale down the center. And here we can add some intent. Intending that we're gathering the energy that we've given to others. Places we've let ourselves be pushed and pulled in our energy. Just bring all that power back to your center. Back to who you truly are. Back to your center. And then fold the hands over that center. Step your feet in close together. And here we will be pushed and pulled, but here by the chi on the inside. Just allowing the flow of energy through us to move us like a tree in the wind. Here, just like a standing relaxation. Let all your muscles release their tension. Release control of the breath. Release control of the mind. Just observe what's happening in your mind, breath and body. Slowly we'll step back out, circle the belly, going clockwise, storing some of this energy at that anchor point we are developing that we call the Dantian, or the field of the life elixir. We'll center there below the navel. Finding your breath and attention. And then bringing that attention up to the heart, hands in prayer. And just feel that peace and stillness we've cultivated. Gathering the heart as well. Calm, balanced, peaceful heart. 
connected to our center, a sense of who we truly are. And from there, sharing that love and joy outwards so that instead of people and places influencing our energy in a negative way, our energy goes out to influence others in a positive way. Release that with a sigh whenever you're ready. I always like to stretch or move around after Qigong, ironically. But just feel where that energy takes you. Give yourself a stretch or any movement that feels good in your body. My name is Nick Loffrey. Thanks so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also jump on my email list at nickloffrey.com. I'll get a free e-course and you'll hear about all my upcoming offerings.